Hello, my soccer universe. To part three of this year's Champions League jersey review, we have a very blue group, which also means we have a quite a beautiful group in many aspects. Although not all the jerseys in there necessarily look all that great, but I think the matches in this group were at least visually a pleasure. Um, not necessarily the pitch, it was not the most exciting group to watch. Um, as I said in the previous videos, I'm going through the teams by the reverse order of how they finished in the group. And yes, I'm wearing, of course, a team from this group, which is Marseille. Finally giving this also a little bit more love here, although Marseille lately has been on a downward trend. But that's where we start. Uh, Marseille is with Puma. It's not the only Puma team in, in the group, so we'll get a lot of crafted by culture. And with Marseille, things are largely right. I have talked about it in the um, League uh, Jersey review, so I'm not gonna lose much time here, but I think this is a very classy looking uh, Marseille jersey. I wish that the sponsor maybe was not necessarily black on there. Um, on the other side, the pattern on there, yes, it's Corbusier or whatever, but it doesn't do a lot to me either, but you know, no harm, no foul. I think it's a very good seven star jersey. The away jersey is one of my favorite jerseys this year. Uh, bar none. I lauded it. I love the little detail with the city at night and there's a little light here, a little light there and then you know the statue of Notre Dame du Gard also on there. The only thing that I don't find quite perfect is that maybe it gets a little bit too light but then we have the pattern all over. It's a great jersey. I made my top 10 and so uh, it will stay there as well and I give this easily nine stars and then the third jersey I actually have to say I like more than I initially thought yes it has this weird swirly pattern and yes the OM crest is in kind of this neon uh, yellow but when you see it on the pitch and, and it's, on, it's distinctively OM and it actually works it's something really exciting in many ways gave this eight stars Stick with that as well. Next up is the other Olympic team, Olympiakos, uh, which have this new stripe template by Adidas. And I have to say, I've seen um, some that I like, some I don't like. I have to say, here I'm not so sold on it. I mean, you have the red shoulder yoke and um, I think the jersey does a good job in kind of balancing out the two colors. You have uh, the white, which is kind of a dominant thick stripes, and then it fades out on top, and then you have a lot of red on top. That I think it does good. Also, the sponsor is really non-intrusive, looks all right. There's just something about it that doesn't sit quite right with me. I think if um, I think this template works better if the two stripes are of a darker shade not uh, the high contrast because you really see this kind of gradient pattern in there which of course also doubles as a little bit i mean you have the three thick stripes a little bit of an adidas uh, branding we have the gold on the side which looks okay and then you know this weird outline that i talked about with the uh, lock moscow jerseys is also here which call me crazy i'm getting used to it and i actually start liking it as well but i have to say doesn't sit super, super well with me, this jersey, and so I'm only gonna give this five stars. Um, the away jersey is this new Condivo template with a wild pattern on there. I actually think that the blue with the red is a really cool away color, but I don't like the shade of blue uh, quite as much. Um, it's a template with a little bit of an Olympiakos twist. It's a template that, you know, with the top, I actually am not uh, too much, much favor. I'm actually thinking I should also go with this one, five stars. It's not, no harm, no foul, but it, it doesn't definitely not go in the range of jerseys that, yeah, you gotta have this. Uh, the one, and I think they used this one, uh, it was last season or already, and I think this season they have reused this as well. This is probably the favorite. No, no, this is this, this season, the, uh, the darker shade for this. That one looks awesome. That one immediately a little bit more red a teeny bit more red i would probably have put on the sleeve cuff uh some some, some red not only that the crest is all on there but other than that i really really like this one uh that's a great looking jersey um since the template and, and you know stuck just stick a crackers i'm not gonna go high but i really like the color scheme this is an eight star jersey i would opine and then the other team that we have to talk about is of course fc porto 
New Balance. And if you see my La Liga jersey review, um, you will recognize that Athletic Bilbao has a very, very, very similar uh, jersey, at least from the template, uh, the striped jersey. And while I initially liked the striping, there's a lot of things that don't sit quite right. Look, just the collar, suddenly it, it doesn't go right. And then on the back, the collar looks weird. Then uh, in play, especially that the size, there's suddenly a stripe going thicker and thinner because we have the big nameplate on the back. And I'm also not sure, for me, Porto looks usually better with some thicker striping. Like if they will take, let's say, two of these stripes, I think then a Porto jersey, to me personally, looks a little bit better than the thin striping. But that's all minor complaints. I think the, we have to talk about the coloring. I really don't mind the golden uh, for the New Balance Law logs and the Mio. The problem is that I've seen this consistently that the numbers on the back are at least in the league red and i think they also were also in the champions league red i'm not sure I'm not 100 percent of that but that is uh, gives you a completely different look uh, front and back and not in a good way sometimes, sometimes i can look over it it's definitely not my favorite Porto jersey i have to i have to say i think uh there have been that uh, some that i liked a whole lot more than this one and it seems a little bit half-baked. It tries to hit the right spots, but it's a little bit half-baked. I'm gonna go six stars here. Um, it's more on the okay side than on the not so okay side. I really like this away Giorgio. So again, same color, dark blue, maybe the monochromatic crest. We didn't necessarily need that. I think a full color crest would have been fine here. Also not sure, do, do we really need the orange? Uh, could have been white too, or just take the yellow. But uh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. You know, I like dark, I like dark, dark, dark blue. Um, I'm gonna give this eight stars. I mean, I cannot talk much more here as well. And then the third jersey makes sense that it's white. I actually like this pattern in there as well. And here we have a full color, color crest. So this is also, I mean, looks okay. I wish maybe for. I don't know why, but maybe a little bit more blue, but don't do it on the collar here. Um, I think maybe about blue, but I don't know. I, I, I know it looks a little bit too bare in a way, but it's nice. It's nice. I'm gonna give this seven star. And so we're at the team that dominated this uh, group, Manchester City. Uh, yes, crafted by culture and here, what, what all that went right for Marseille, I personally think went wrong for City. Yes, mosaics are all over Manchester, seemingly never been there, cannot uh, cannot vouch for that, but that's the inspiration. But it looks like it's falling apart, it, 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 it seems. Um, it looks better in play than it does here, but I, I still am not a fan of this one. Four stars. The best one is definitely the third jer jersey with the kind of the steel ironworks look. I really like the pattern on there. I even like that they used the, kind of this copper color. Um, there is a certain strong look to this jersey, but then I have to say I find the whole pattern almost a little bit too distracting. I, I, I know this all over print, and I know this is crafted by culture, which went all over. Uh, just something not 100% there how I would like it, but uh, it is the best Manchester City jersey. And I have, have to say it looks good in game, but I think I cannot point you to what I would actually really change, but there are certain things it doesn't quite sit 100% with me, so I'm gonna give this seven stars. And then the third jersey, Away Days Loves It, I absolutely know. It looks like bed sheets, uh, some have said it's amoebas or, or whatever. Yeah, it's all of that, and it's just, woo. you know, floral patterns, or fluffy patterns on soccer jerseys do not work. The only thing that works here great is the full color crest, but everything else I do not like this one. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it for cheap at some point, I might even pick it up because it, it's just so crazy. Three stars and that's where we end. Let me know whether you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. 
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!